Hi, this is Brandon with Android Device Tutorials. Here I'm going to show you how to get off the AT&T update path if you're with Project Phi. Um, if you were with AT&T, you likely have a Nexus 6 with the build number LMY48Z and you are stuck on Android 5.1.1 and can't get Marshmallow because AT&T is taking forever. Even though you're on Phi, you're still stuck on the AT&T uh, AT update path. So what we're going to do is we're going to flash uh, the version that will allow Project Phi to update your device when they have updates instead of having to wait. Um, so what we're going to need to do is two things. One is get the phone ready and two get the computer ready. So one, we'll go ahead and get the phone ready first. We'll go to settings and I have exited out of it just to kind of show you. If you have developer options um, then you're good. Your phone's ready. You just need to change a few things. But let's go to About Phone for those that don't have developer options. And what you're going to do is you're going to tap on build number seven times, you know, repeatedly. And I'm I already have it unlocked, but just keep tapping it until it says you're now a developer. Then you can go back one window, tap on developer options, and you're going to want to turn on two things. First, USB debugging, you need to turn on. Two, OEM unlocking, allowing the bootloader to be unlocked. And just go ahead and confirm it. So now you have those two things on, your phone is ready. Okay. You can now set your phone to, side, to the side and get your computer set up. Um, now, there's, there's a couple different things you're going to want to do on the computer, and I have it all outlined in the article that you can uh, find in the description of this video, where you can download everything. Uh, minimal ADB and fast boot, which is on XDA. Um, I'll have credit, but I'll have the download directly on there. Um, the image file, which you can get from Google, and uh, the, the USB drivers for your Nexus 6. Okay, So here's pretty much what you're going to want to do. Well, here's exactly what you're going to want to do. <laughs> you're going to want to install minimal ADB and Fastboot first. Get that installed. Download and unzip the uh, image file which contains, let me see if I can figure out what all it contained, these files, not fast boot, uh, the image and the radio. So these are the files that will, once you unzip it a couple times, these files will come out of that package. You're going to want to go ahead and copy these and paste them into the minimal ADB and fast boot folder. Okay, that way you um, it's it's just easier, less you have to type. Okay, so we'll go ahead and down. We can close that window. We don't need it anymore. You're going to want to double click on your minimal ADB and fast boot to open it up on the program itself, and you will get a command window. Okay. Now, basically, what that does is it takes you directly to the folder wherever you had put the files, so that you can run the commands from there without having to find it. Um, so the first command you're going to want to first thing you're going to want to do is plug your computer or your um, Sorry, I'm going to slow down. Plug your phone into your computer via USB. Okay. And you're going to want to install the drivers that um, I have in the article as well. Um, now, at this point, in order to check to make sure that your phone and computer can talk and you can actually install or flash this, you're going to want to type ADB devices. Okay. And hit enter. Okay. Now what you're going to see is a string of just random string, basically. And you may not see device here. It may say unconfirmed. If that's the case, you need to go to your phone and you need to uh, confirm that it's allowed to talk with this computer. Okay, and then it'll change to device. Okay. If you see this, great. If you don't, it means that the drivers aren't installed properly and you need to go back to your Windows device manager and either delete it and reinstall it or just update the driver and select the folder um, of drivers that I have in the article. Okay, so now that we've gotten this far, the next step is to type, uh, is basically reboot into bootloader. So we're going to say ADB reboot bootloader. And uh, all this is in the article, so what I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit so that I can actually look at the uh, phone itself when the time comes. So when we hit enter here, you'll see what the phone will do. Boom. Now your phone is now in bootloader mode. Now, there's something you have to look at. Right here it says device is locked. 
that's why we unlocked the ability to unlock the bootloader earlier. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do, and we will lock the bootloader again later uh, for, for the security, but we need to unlock it in order to be able to flash. So what we're going to do is type fastboot um, OEM unlock. Okay, and I'll hold the phone up while I hit enter. Okay, so now it wants you to confirm that it's okay. We will say yes. Oh, that's right. Power button to select. And it says unlock. Okay, and then once it's done unlocking, it'll come back to the screen and you will see device is unlocked in yellow instead of the red. Okay. You'll see a few different things happening on your screen as well. Not really a big deal. But next step is um, to actually flash the new Marshmallow ROM. So in order to do that, since you've copied those files into the Fastboot folder, all you have to do is type in flash-all.eat. So it's the batch file for flashing. And now once you hit enter, this process is gonna take some time. Okay, we'll hit enter. You'll see the device. It says transfer mode, USB connected. And then you'll see the computer is actually doing a bunch of stuff there. Things are going back and forth. Um, basically, set the phone down, wait it out. Um, and once it's done, your phone will reboot on its own. All right. Finished. we go. So, um, let's go ahead and get to uh, confirmation. Okay, everything's going nuts right now, installing all my apps again, you know, whatever, trying to restore everything. So let's go to settings, all the way down to about phone. In there, Android 6.0.1, and build number is now MMB29K, which is the build we need to be on for Project Phi. So, hope that helps.